Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome to day 12 of 30 Blue Inks, 30 Days. Today's ink is from Diamine. It is Regency Blue. And as you can see, this is a sample from Goulet Pens. And I think this color is just beautiful. But one thing that concerns me about this ink is it seems to be staining the sample vial. Can you see that when I turn the vial over? Usually when I do that with a vial of ink, all the ink runs down and then it's just clear up here. But the ink has stained the vial. And I haven't had this vial for too long, maybe about six months or so. So, um, I, I don't know if this would stain a pen. Um, I'm not putting it in a demonstrator today. I'm putting it in my trusty Jinhao X750. Um, I have cleaned this one out um, since the debacle with the Evening Sapphire yesterday. And we are ready to go again with a new ink. And tonight we're going to try it with the Diamine Regency Blue. So let's go ahead and do our swab. And oh dear, I seem to be out of Q-tips. Let's see. Oh. Nope, oh, here's one. Okay. Whew. Can't be without Q-tips. My goodness. And um, I'm also getting down to the very end of my card, so I'm going to have to cut out some more of these. And I was thinking about maybe making a little video about that. We'll see how that goes. Oh, let me write the name first. Such a beautiful dark blue. I just love it. All right. Wow. That is gorgeous. Let's see if we can get a little drip going. Yep, it just ran right down. I find that, generally speaking, diamine inks give me really good drips. All right, so we will set him aside to dry a little bit. Now we will do our writing sample on Clairefontaine paper. if we can fit all this stuff in here. All right. I haven't been consistent with the information I've been writing down. I think a couple of times I forgot to write the name of the ink down or the name of the pen down. So we should be evening up here, but we didn't. But that's okay. Things don't have to be perfect. But you can see that that is just a beautiful dark blue. It's so pretty. But that staining in the sample vial does concern me a little bit, but that's okay. As long as we're practicing proper pen maintenance, we shouldn't have to worry about the ink staining, right? All right, so let's look at our card here. Wow, that is looking really purple. And it, I see a lot of red sheen coming out. Actually, the sheen looks almost orange. That's really interesting. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what I might have that might match up with this. Let's see. There is Vinta Inks, Dugong Bagal. Very blue. This is this is really purple. Very different, a very different color. 
and there is Diatromentus indigo blue. I was thinking that one might match, but this Regency blue is definitely purple. There is KWZ standard azure number five. And here is Tasha Ao blue. Now this one has a lot of red sheen, which is giving the ink more of a purple cast. But when you don't see the sheen, it looks very blue. And even without the sheen, this one is looking very purple. So, hmm, I don't know. Okay, so far all of those are out. Here is Sargasso C, very blue. And there's Asagao. And again, I was thinking this one might be a good match, but very blue. And there is Diamine Blue Velvet. A lovely blue with some beautiful red sheen. And again, this is kind of sheening in the same way as Regency Blue. That sheen is looking very orange. Can you see that in the camera? Maybe not. Hmm... And I'm thinking that none of these are, are going to match very well. Let me see. Here's our ebony purple from the other day. And this one is purple with some sheen, but this is a little bit of a redder purple, I guess. This is purple, but bluer. So, I'm looking for my ring here. Let's see what purple inks we have on here, because this ink is definitely looking purple. Let's see. And that just surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to um, to look purple at all. But that's okay. That's why we play around with samples. Okay. Ooh. Well, it looks like I have a whole bunch of purples, so that'll be good. All right, so I am just going to move all of these out of the way, because we know they're not a match. And I'll get rid of the really light ones. Let's see. Twisby Royal Purple. Nope too light. Here's Waterman Tender Purple. If you've never given the Waterman inks a chance, you should, because even though they have a reputation as a classic or perhaps stodgy ink, some people think they're old-fashioned or boring. They're not. They're beautiful. And they have some interesting properties. So, anyway. Definitely not the right shade of purple to go with our ink of the day. And there's Diamine Monbato's hat. And here is Tasha Murasaki. And these are all much more purple. Let's see what we've got here. Here is Krishna Silent Night Sky. Much lighter than Regency Blue, but more of that bluish purple. And there is Diamine Violet. Again, very light. And here is Private Reserve Tanzanite. And that's looking a little bit closer. More of that bluish purple with some sheen. There is Diamine Bilberry. Again, not quite as dark. And here is Monteverde. I'm not sure how to say this one. Um, Cheroit? Cheroit? It's a beautiful color. And again, close. Close, but not quite as dark. Let's see. Ooh, I'm just getting ink all over my thumbs, but that's okay. Here is Private Reserve Purple Mojo. Isn't that a beautiful color? And not quite as dark as Regency Blue, but more of that bluish purple. And I don't see a whole lot of red sheen on this one. A little bit. This Regency Blue has much more sheen. Here is Lamy Azurite. Now this is a purple ink, but it looks like it has a greenish sheen to it. So a darker tone, but a different colored sheen. And I find the sheen so fascinating. I, I don't even know how they make it sheen that way, you know? All right, here is Noodler's La Couleur Royale. And that's a nice dark purple. Kind of similar to Azurite, but it doesn't have that sheen. And here is Private Reserve DC Supervioet. And that's got some nice sheen to it, but not quite as dark. Let's see. Here is Colorverse Hayabusa. And this is like Azurite. It's that purple with a green sheen to it. And Hayabusa is one of my favorite colors. I just love it. But again, not as dark as Regency Blue. Just
just a couple of more here. I've got Diatrementis Alexander Hamilton, and this is a much more red purple, so definitely not a match. And the last one that I have is Diamine Scribble Purple, and that is a more reddish purple with some green sheen. Can you see that in the camera? A little bit. All right, so what do we think here? Hmm, that Hayabusa with the, the green sheen. I think these two are reasonably close to each other, the Hayabusa and the Azurite. Two beautiful colors. Love them. And this one, La Couleur Royale. I don't know. Hmm. I was thinking that Hayabusa might match. Or the, or the, I was also thinking the Scribble Purple might match, because that one's such a dark purple, but it's definitely more red. Alright, well, you've gotten a look at some of my purple inks today. But this one is, again, I think this might be in a category all its own. It's too purple to be blue and too blue to be purple, with some interesting reddish, almost orange sheen to it. Very pretty. All right, well, if any of you have tried out Regency Blue before, let me know what you think about it. And um, I'll be interested to see how this cleans out of my pen, because, again, that, that sample vial is a little concerning, but I'll let you know how it goes. So I hope you're enjoying your pens and inks today, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.